Over here in the garage, I wanted to show you all the broken solar panels. What the fuck's going on? Couldn't find those nuts. These don't work anymore. This 300 watt thing doesn't work anymore. I tested them and realized they were putting like nothing out. Oh, wow. Look how shabby this one just fell apart completely. The only reason why these aren't working anymore, the ones on my roof are fine. Same kind of thin film but I don't walk on them. Untampered with, they're bolted down, they don't move, they're solidly in place. These stop working because I have them loose and I'm constantly moving them around and dropping them. Don't drop them, don't move them around. That's why the ones on my roof haven't been damaged. One of those panels I got the warranty for and I don't know which one. Do you guys know where to find that information on Amazon? <laughs> First portable camp panels that I got were from Costco. 300 watts each. Pretty durable, except for when I wired them together into one MPPT. They ended up frying both panels. You had to get a separate charger for each one. I wish I would have known that before I ruined them both. A sneak peek of a project I'm working on. It's gonna be an air conditioner cover. It's gonna look factory. It's a company called Tink Tube. You could build anything. It's like an 80-20, but costs way less money. And there's a guy, Esteban, go onto their website. He will build anything for you. He pulled up my van. They wanted me to do a roof rack. He lines it up in the computer during the Zoom call. And your rack, when you assemble it, it'll just bolt right down into the roof where there's already bolt holes. All you need to cut it is a pipe cutter. And they have them on the website. Nice one, actually, for 40 bucks, not that one. All the fittings that Astabon give you a list of what to order. Wrapped and labeled. Predator generator. It's not for sale, but I never use it. That's what happens when you have more solar than you need. In the summer, I park here. I get full sun all day. The sun's getting lower in the horizon. Periods of shade all day. There's even a time when it hits the, the, these trees. No sun at prime sun absorption time. What I'm doing right now, which I love, isn't what I ultimately wish that I was doing. I get more panels. I realize this isn't quite what I expected and I wanna try something different. This has been working. This has been giving me enough power, but I messed up by getting 200 watt panels. They're too big to get in and out of the van. I wish I had a place to slide them underneath. I'm sure you can figure out something to do with these 200 watt panels. Because they're heavy, these are much heavier than most and they're so rigid, they're really easy to point at the sun. Glass panels, they work the best. You end up getting more juice. Although, now before I get up to the six panels, which are the only thin film panel that I would really buy, because they're the only ones that are truly durable. I wish what I would have done, 130 watt Bougie V portable panels, because they fold. After I got these, I realized, all I need to do is get one more. Three 130 watt panels would be about the same as these two 200 watts. They'd fold up and I could put them anywhere. They're much lighter. They also have a tilting mechanism that's adjustable. These do not have that. These actually could be better depending on your situation. It gets windy here and those are not gonna hold up to the wind like these will. I'm letting my panels get really dirty because I wanna do video where I clean the panels and see if I get more juice. Original panels that I first put on, there was no room. I wanted the most wattage and this is the solution I came up with, hang them off the back. But I still want to support it a little better because when I'm on the freeway, I don't like the bouncing. The air conditioner that I was building the cover for at an angle so that the water drips out the back away from the bumper, but it doesn't look great. Air conditioners on the back of vans never really look great. It's maxing out 47.4 watt amps. So the high current shut off doesn't shut off the current. It, it still charges. It just won't go above 660. I want to thank Brittany. Click up, up again, and then boom, there's how many watts we're consuming. Pegged out at 660 on our charger. The little W right there, that means watts. Not going higher than 340. 64 degrees. Coming straight up right here. took my comforter and I stuffed it into the pizza oven. Turn on the air conditioner. Using this set power as a freezer. Three degrees. 
I'm removing this thing because it makes noise, especially in the summer. The table's removable. I need this leg to fill in this space. It's really dirty back here. It looks so much better. You leave this here, the plugs, and yes, I do want to plug in a fridge right here. I have a place to put things now. Throw it in there. More spacious like that. Looks pretty good. The freezer up here in the front. Girlfriends from now on are gonna have to be kind of short so their legs will fit here. Better location. I'm not dealing with the issue of hearing the thing running. To finish up this solar panel install in Lowe's, and I found this. It's for a door threshold so that it looks clean and straight. Had it on there with spray glue and it wasn't really that great. A bead of clear silicone clean up the wiring. I think this is gonna look really good. I should probably get a ladder for this. That little solar panel in my dad's hand, it's one of my favorites. I bought it for him. I like to stay in an area a week or two at a time. With this panel, I won't need to start the van periodically. The solar panel is keeping the rain off my windows. Are you lonesome tonight? It's so much quieter when it rains since I installed the uh, Bouge RV stick-on panels. They're like sound deadening on the outside. 